is a monster. Feels like a good one. Well, I got a big bite, man. You got one more leap in you, don't you? Yeah. We might need a bigger net, Bo. <laughs> Woo! Look at that! How's that for a smallmouth? Now that's what we're talking about. Yeah, what a beautiful redfish. Sign imaging. That's the way to do it. When you're saltwater fishing, you often have to cover a lot of coastline just to decide where to start looking for fish. Fish move and the bottom changes. You have to find where the action is likely to be. And the best way to have more fun is to get to the action as fast as possible. Hummingbird side imaging will get you there. We're back down in the Florida Keys with professional angler and TV host Rick Murphy to do some inshore saltwater fishing. Man, tell me how Humminbird helps you find so many different types of fish in this situation, Rick. Well, I gotta tell you, Bo, when you see all the mangroves here, and we have lots of channels that we fish, the key is to find where these fish love to really hide. With the side imaging that Humminbird offers, it really helps me locate these key spots. And I gotta say, the reason why we're able to find things that other guys aren't finding is because of that side imaging. And the way that I can really describe it so that you can understand it is, imagine just taking all the water right out of this little drop off, this little creek that we're idling down here, and seeing every little bump, every little undercut bank that the tide has caused, or maybe how the roots lay on that channel edge. So this now allows us to get a picture out to the side, as well as straight up underneath the boat and over to that side, up to 240 feet away. And I gotta say, since I've gotten one of these, it has really changed the way I fish. I've really come to understand places that I didn't know because now I can go down along the edge of a channel, I can find places that might have rocks, maybe a submerged limb, or I can look up underneath docks and see these little nests and schools of redfish. When you have a dock every 50 feet, how do you pinpoint where those winning fish could be? And I gotta say, this hummingbird with the side imaging, it has allowed me to look at that and I spend more time catching and less time looking for fish. You know, I'm a professional redfish tournament fisherman. I was the FLW 2006 champion. You now have a unit that's gonna show you a, a picture. It's just like taking a camera, taking all the water out of the bottom and taking a picture of it. And in the professional world, that's priceless. I mean, that's gonna be my money maker right there. Well, the Humminbird is loaded with features. The GPS has got to be one of your favorites, though, right? Well, you know, we fish a lot of complex fisheries. A good example, back in the Everglades and Hell's Bay, it's very, very complex. But using the GPS navigational chart with the Navionics chip, we put that in. Now I can see all of those estuaries and bays and real, real tight areas to run. And the thing that's really great about it, like when we find those winning schools of redfish, the one thing we're able to do is push the button, mark it as a waypoint, and now with the easy to use menu, I can go back and make myself a route to get there just with a simple push of a button. And I gotta tell you, it has made my life easier. Quick, we're out here in the open ocean. I Maybe mean, do you know where we are right now? Of course I know where we are, Bo, give or take three meters. <laughs> but I got to tell you, I do know exactly where we are. And that's the beauty of the Hummingbird GPS. It allows me, because I don't have any islands to have reference off of, I don't have any bridges or I don't have any radio towers to use as a reference. But there's no doubt I know exactly where we are. I know exactly how long it's going to be till we get back and go have lunch. I know exactly how many gallons of gas we're going to burn in order to get home. So the key is that I know exactly where we are, and you're safe with me, Bo. <laughs> now, I want to show you really how this whole unit works, Bo. Now, look at well, what is this? This is a wreck that's coming up. It this looks, is an actual wreck we're over right now. Absolutely. It's got some bait fish, even looks like maybe some kingfish sitting up there on top of it. There's no doubt out that that's a new spot. Let me go ahead and mark that. All right, now I'm gonna run the cursor straight over to that the, the tip of that wreck right there. There it goes, okay. So I'll just push the mark button and we'll come back in a few minutes 
and we'll fish that. But what this allows me to do with side imaging is I can find out exactly where those fish are holding, not having to run a series of S turns over the top of it with traditional down looking sonar to figure out where the fish are staged according to what the tide is doing or the current that's pushing them in and around that wreck. You know, Bo, whether you're fishing inshore or you're fishing offshore, the one thing that you really got to understand is catching bait is a huge part of our day. Back in the old days, we had the traditional downward looking sonar, and unless the bait swam literally right underneath the boat, I didn't even know they were there. And when they did swim underneath the boat, most of the time they got spooked, and so who knows which way they went, and it took so much longer in order to find the bait. It allows you to see right or left up to 240 feet to see that bait. If I was driving down a normal channel, if it didn't go underneath the boat or in my regular cone, I wouldn't see it. So now I have the advantage of catching that bait. Oh! Oh! You got some? Oh, I got a big bite, man. I think it's a big redfish, Bo. I thought I saw him come up and eat that rapple up on the surface. Goodness yeah, look at the size Ooh, look of that, at that. Want me to get him? Yeah, you net him. Get... Net him in there, Bo. We might need a bigger net, Bo. Look at that, baby. Look at the size of this redfish. Yeah. Holy smoly. I'd say he's got the XL on his tag. Man, what a beautiful redfish. Now, the thing that was so great about this is we idled by and we saw that big school of mullet right up underneath there. And knowing that, I thought maybe there could be a redfish or a big snook under there. And sure enough, look at the size of this redfish. 